Bill Fickner, you're giving the commencement speech here at Villa tomorrow? I am. Oh, oh come on. Am I? <laughs> How do you feel about it? You know, this is Chictawaga, very close to where you grew up, and, um, you know, now you're you're here at Villa giving the, uh, the speech. Well, I, you know, everything about it is special. Um, I have four sisters, and my sister Mary, she graduated from Villa. Um, uh, at the time when it was, a, you know, they had two-year programs, and then she finished at Buff State. But uh, so I've always had an awareness of Villa, but I have to tell you, it's it's the, you know, it's Matt Giordano uh, here, the, the, the president of the school, that uh, reached out to me a year ago about coming here for commencement, and I was like, sure, you know, yeah, you know, a, a cheap excuse to get back to Buffalo, I love that, but uh, all of a sudden, last minute, it couldn't work out, something came up, I, I couldn't be here, and I said, Matt, invite me next year, I'll do everything I can, having a little bit more time to make sure I keep it clear and uh, and I'm really glad that, uh, that, that, that I'm here, and I'm glad to be here tomorrow. And now with Villa being as big of an art school as it is and um, where you are in your career, um, how does it feel seeing you know, young filmmakers uh, and you know, actors, directors, future, the future of, of Hollywood? What is it, how do you feel about speaking to them tomorrow? But it's fantastic. Actually, I, I, I was back in Buffalo in the fall, mm -hmm. home to see a Bills game, and um, Matt invited me over, and I came over, and I talked to the film students. So we had a nice little, you know, couple hours to sit down and talk about filmmaking and that. And uh, so a lot of the, you know, a lot of the folks, we just spent some time looking at um, some of the short films that were made by the seniors, and I had a chance to talk to them about it. And, and most of that group I met back in October, so it was really nice to see them again. Back then they were thinking about the films they were going to make and now they made them and uh, it, it is pretty it is pretty incredible what's going on at this little school. Uh, it's the little engine that could. Their, their visual arts program here and, and the, the filmmaking program, it's, it's a real deal stuff and, and top notch and I'm very impressed. And now as far as film in general in Western New York goes, uh, I was just speaking with Tim about this. Um, the, in terms of the growth, how do you feel about you know this corner of the the country getting more films? I, I think that uh, once the tax incentive came, thank you Tim Clark and Cindy Abbott Letro and Rich Wall and the people that really worked on it and and it really stepped to the plate to have the conversations that you needed to have with the right people to, to have legislation introduced which Senator Gallivan did and it has made all the difference because if you build it they will come. Now there's a crew base in Buffalo. Uh, Buffalo Filmworks is opening up sound stages. These are all the, these are all the pieces of the puzzle that you need to attract, you know, studio films. I mean, people are always going to make indie films on a wing and a prayer. I do, <laughs> and, uh, but you know, to get a series here that shoots uh, full time and to shoot a whole season, to get you know studio films to come here, these are all the elements that, that make a difference. And it does not hurt that we have schools, not just Villa, but other schools that have film programs here in the Buffalo area. And these kids are graduating, and they're hungry, and they want to work in these productions. And and I just love seeing it happening. And I, I look forward to the next time that I can be a bigger part. Once again, I made a film here five years ago. I want to make another one here and hire all these people. And I know you're going to speak about this tomorrow uh, at you know your commencement speech, but uh, what advice would you give to aspiring filmmakers in the area? I, I, you know, it's... To get an hour, <laughs> it's not an easy question. Listen, I... I you got to follow your heart and you can't let go of of your dream whatever that is you you cannot especially in in this business of the creative business in all creative businesses but to make to make movies to want to be in that um, find out what you want to focus on and and you, you got to go for it you, you, you know never let it go well bill thank you all right I appreciate thank you it. so much man